Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're gonna be playing some best of one action in standard. I uh, hit diamond four uh, floor last night, so we can play some brews as we try to get to mythic with the season reset. Uh, and a card that I've wanted to build around for a while is Turgrid, God of Fright. Um, it is a modular dual face card. Uh, the creature half is basically if your opponent discards or sacks a permanent, you get to take that card out of their graveyard and put it under the battlefield under your control. This includes when Sega is the last chapter comes off, uh, if they discard to any sort of effect. Um, so we're kind of playing it in a discard heavy Doom Foretold shell. Uh, it's not like the get a bunch of like uh, enchantments kind of way. It's more um, creature discard style. Uh, the other half of Turgrid is Turgrid's Lantern. Uh, this, if you, so it's good if you get both sides out because it enables each other. Uh, Turgrid's Lantern is uh, four mana, tap it, your opponent has a choice of either losing three life uh, or they have to sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. For four mana you can untap the Lantern and get multiple activations per turn. Um, so the way we're kind of enabling this is in a kind of base black control ish shell. Uh, we have creatures that force discard in both Acquisition Expert and Elf Elder Fang Disciple. Um, notably with Acquisitions Expert, uh, this is a cleric as well, so you get the party mechanic. Um, we have Elspeth's Nightmare. Uh, this forces your opponent to discard. Uh, Inscription of Ruin is removal and discard or reanimate one of our things later in the game. Soul Shatter forces your opponent to discard. Or sorry, to sacrifice a creature. Liliana forces the discard. Rankle forces the discard and potentially the sack as well. Uh, Doom Foretold, we have all these things to sacrifice, including like Treacherous Blessings, Delspice Nightmare. Uh, and then one Kaya is just kind of catch all. I want to try out Kaya. I haven't played with it really much. So I want to see how it works out. Um, also, we're playing this in Best of One, which tends to be more aggressive based. So Crippling Fear is a 4-mana sweeper I want to try. Um, we can name like a creature type to keep our things around. The minus is relevant against a lot of like Mono Red, Mono White. You can deal with a lot of their stuff. And then Shadow's Verdict as well. It leaves our top end stuff. So I want to try it out without Extinction Event, see how it goes. And we'll see if we can get some Tegrids. Everything they sack to Doom Foretold comes to our side of the battlefield. We get to sack it and kind of go from there. So let's play some best of one standard. We'll do a mix as always. We'll play best of one, best of three on the channel, historic and standard. But we'll give this a couple games, see how it goes. <clears throat> as always, if you do enjoy the content, you want to show your support for free. If you can, catching this on YouTube, just hit that subscribe button, like or comment on the video. All go a long way to helping out the channel grow, and it costs you nothing at all. Playing Midnight Rider. Um, they're on Jenganta, which means they're on the, the adventure one. So let's try this out. This is the squirrel adventure deck. So I think in this matchup, it's pretty safe to get Turgrid out. Oh, they do have Giant Killer, so maybe we get the Lantern. See what they play out here. Ooh, are they just on party? Let's see what they want to get out of their hand. Get a land out of their hand. So they can go showdown. So one thing we want to see is if we could keep up with these like showdown decks, these adventure decks. They are going very wide on us. Beginning of your combat, if you control full party, creatures you control. Yikes. I think we're just, we need to find one of our sweepers here. I'm just gonna kill this at combat and then drop Doom Foretold. Yikes, there are 
Winota. So we'll kill that. Block one of the one ones. Drop Doom Foretold. Interesting. This is a pretty free attack. So we really only need one white source. So my turn is going to be Turgrid out this turn. The Dane. Regardless, they went too wide on us. Ah, well, one mana off. Crippling Fear would have been perfect. So we got a creature here, but we're just too short on life. If they didn't draw Redain, we would have been perfectly fine there. Uh, crippling fear their board because the cool thing is like with this interaction I get to just keep sacking their creature but we're just a little too short here yeah whatever they just have to attack with the flyer okay Concept wasn't bad. I actually think we'll play another couple games to see, but I think we might want another sweeper on four. Not bad. That's a nice little message. Qualified for uh, the next mythic qualifier. So we will see how it goes, play a couple more of these. The nice thing about Diamond 4, you can test things out. Opponent's deck was actually pretty cool. Using that shell with the party enables Winota. Opponent goes first. I think we're going to try this. Let's play this tapped. We're on the draw anyways. Um, I think we go tap lined here. Play, get our lines out on curve. Yeah, I think against adventure decks we need another sweeper. Yikes, Gruel. Gruel's gonna be a scary one. So what we might have to do here They ditched the dragon fire. That's interesting. They might have stomp. Second brush fire. Very aggressive start from the opponent. Do I get a sweeper? That's a sweeper. So new game plan, just survive. Get another card out of their hands. Fortunate thing is we can't block these and we're turn off with needing a land as well. One thing is I can use Soul Shatter. Tell me the last card in their hands, Embercleave. Yeah, land kills us here. Hmm. I actually don't think we can Doom Foretold here. I need to use the Soul Shatter. Make a face. So I actually have to do this now. 
to get rid of one of these brush fires, otherwise I'm dead. Because if they draw a land, then it's six damage. Yeah, I think we want another Crippling Fear. We're a little too slow at the, the gates. Okay, so they are all in. And we didn't draw land. Okay, so that's two games where the decks kind of falling apart. We kept a little bit of a sketchy hand. Let's go another sweeper here. Crippling fear. Get rid of the Kaya. Fear is decent because it gets rid of most of the stuff that we're worried about. You just name like a random uh, creature type. If we can go on the play for once, it would also be nice. Lead on acquisitions expert. Opponent might be on life gain or clerics. Daxos. Well, could we draw a land deck? One time a land. Bassery Ket. It's actually very awkward. Because now we can't Heartless Act. We can Inscriptions. Your Sorcery Speed. Um, so hopefully it's like a smaller thing that they come out. This Bastard Cat's going to be annoying. Speaker. They just pump up the speaker. Okay, so Nightmare here. I need to just keep dealing with these creatures for now, especially with us missing line drops. So there's have another one there. So it's good to know with, um, so I can try to set up the crippling fear. I think we just keep killing things. We got, we need to keep this off by its ultimate. Kind of forced into blessings here. We need a land. Go get our white source, play out Doom Foretold. Just get that going. Actually, depending on how they set up their turn. All seed. Now is the They're a 
illusion. So we're actually going to take five this turn, I think. Yeah, we'll take five. And then also uh, Crippling Fear. Name Illusion. So this is why I like this, because it keeps your things alive. Gets rid of all theirs. Next turn, I could use Doom Foretold. Charming Prince is kind of annoying as well. So I have to kind of entice them here. Okay, that's actually really good because now what I can do do this and the question is do I get rid of speaker now I think we do Like I'm taking damage from this. So my thought is because then they're going to be able to get angels this turn. Because this gives it indestructible to end a turn. So I'm going to have to take some damage this turn. I'm going to wait to see if they target the Speaker of Heavens. Take a ping here. This alts at six, so I do need to put a point of damage to it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Surprised they didn't attack their head vigilance. You have great ambition. So play out Doom Foretold. Just play out in, in case they have a blocker or something. So they'll probably sack the sword here. Interesting. I guess they can just keep sacking that each turn. But what I can do this turn is Soul Shatter. So let's Soul Shatter, get rid of the Bass Reket. Play out the Blessing. So now we're just really looking for Turgrid. So they can just do this like every turn, but they're eventually gonna run out of resources. So 
I'm fine doing this for like another turn. They're gonna have to keep getting rid of their thing. Perfect. So now I get out Tigrid, and now we go to town. That's my Charming Prince. Insulate our life total a bit. Unfortunately, we couldn't stack it where we got the uh, trigger. Boom! Took him out. Sweet. You could probably build this like a Yorian style, but I'm tired of playing Yorian and seeing it, so I'm on to try a little bit different. Give this one uh, one or two more, see how it plays out. We just play this person. Uh, this is not the hand. We'd really like to have a game where we can be on the play for once. After uh, all these matches, we just haven't been able to get one. We don't have the benefit of playing anything snow-based, so opting to not play it so we don't get hit by Redain. This is nice because it'll sacrifice and get around the savior. Heliod. Okay, so this is probably CGB's list. Actor's doing pretty well with it. No blocks. now so we get that out of them actually I should have just done soul shatter have another dog I think we're just setting up for this shadows verdict nightmare is Probably fine. Let's us hit them all as well. So we're going to take a hit this turn. So we can probably save the soul shatter now. Since they were going to maul anyways, I don't want to take that much damage. And then we can take a peek at their hand as well. Exiling their graveyard, if this is the CGB list, they play four Lyris. That's actually really good for us. Because then I could Shadow's Verdict and get left behind a 3-3. Three, three. take four because now I can shadows verdict get my creature I should take him out of quite a bit of gas
think at this point I'm just playing Egadine's tap like as a tap line. I think we've gone through three dogs already. Three dogs. So their turn's gonna be make it and then probably equip and fly over. So let's get them to tax their mana. If they just hit us for one, then it's fine, we can race. See what they got hanging out in the hand. Skyclave, that was a nice hit. This is good as a 1-2, because now they're forced to kind of go defensively or to equip for a flyer. And when they equip for a flyer, then I will kill it. That should tax most of their turn. Okay, we need like Treacherous Blessings, Doom Foretold. Not another land. Turgrid would be nice. Rankle, Liliana, you name it, we got it. Speaker is going to be annoying. Ooh. So they can get rid of the other mall. Speaker having vigilance and first strikes annoying. Ah, oh, they drew a second speaker. It's probably GG's. I get a removal. Okay. Um. No! Oh! I thought I was kicking it. Ah! We were dead anyways if they played it right. Ah! Da 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 da. That was frustrating. We played that well. And then at the end, I thought I was kicking it. Because if I kill the 3 3, they sack the other, and then they just equipped. And then it gives them three damage in the, the sky. So they beat me that way. It's a super frustrating turn. We've yet to go on to play a single game in best of one, which is quite impressive. Just go preemptively, go get our white source. This could be sacrifice. Yeah. Um. I think I want the blessings if they're going to grind a set of cards in this matchup. Dump the spike fields. 
Timorettes. Ooh, they're playing a plow deck. Um, I think we just need to try to find Doom Foretold here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Could be seeing a Croxa here. They have a land. I think we're taking the two here. Okay, so they don't have the land. So I think this turn. Let's go Disciple. They had multiple spike field hazards, which is interesting. Because I don't want to play with the Doom Foretold just yet, because they sacrifice Timer it, and then they could probably just not play out for the turn. Last card out of their hand. Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay. So they need to find the land. If not, they play Bone Crusher Giant out. Okay, so that's probably the land that they're missing. Oh, no. They just got Croxa here. So we are probably going to dump the... I think I'm going to get rid of the inscriptions here. Keep my life total relatively high. And then I'll just take a block here. I think I like that. Just gives me another land here. Or maybe I was going to Treacherous anyways, so it doesn't make much sense. Uh, Calls of the Dead. Nice draw from them. So, I'm getting close to dead on board. Um, turns, ooh, that's nice. No, I need a sweeper. Yeah, I need a sweeper. Because they're going to hit me for six here. We take a point of damage here, but it's one less. This way, if I have to. can go second doom as well this gains me a life forces them to discard they're at eight yeah I think we do that And just refill for the following turn. This gives me a blocker, gives me some life. 
We'll discard acquisition to the Croxa. They just top deck. Hey. That is a hell of a draw. I'm just going to put out a blocker here. I guess I could soul shatter, but I don't think we want Liliana in this matchup. I want Turgrid. This gains us some life. They could go Jingantha to hand. Which they don't. Now we just uh, force it out of them. Start trying to turn the corner quickly. Run now, and I might spare your life. I'll draw a card here. Could potentially have him dead next turn. They do have enough for Croxa, escape Croxa. Got him. Nicely done. So two and two with the deck. We kind of punted that mono white one with the kicker, but it's an interesting deck. The go wide decks, I think you do need the sweepers. What we might want is some incidental life gain in the deck. Um, something like Omen of the Sun could be decent instead of some of the discard. Inscription was largely like whatever. Um, I think just playing like Omen of the Sun, get those lifelink tokens, blockers, stuff like that can be beneficial. It's also fodder to rankle. Um, so that's some consideration there. Uh, but it's a cool deck if you want to give it a shot. As always, you can catch, you can get the deck list uh, in the video description or from my Aether Hub. Appreciate everyone stopping by today. Have yourself a great one.